Another hotly contested battle is in the 6th Congressional District. And tonight, both candidates rallied in the exact same place. WJN's Brona Tumulty joins us now for more on that live from Oak Brook. Good evening, guys. Yeah, two events, one private, one public, both happening in the same hotel right behind me here. Sean Caston was hosting a town hall on one side of the building focused on things like Social Security and Medicare. And right down the hallway, his opponent, Keith Pacall, was hosting his own event, joined by House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. Good evening. I want to thank you all for coming here today. I want to thank Leader McCarthy for coming as well. Uh, this is a race that uh, I always felt from the moment I got in um, that we were going to win. And I think that you see from the moment, momentum that's out there that we're going to win. And With four days to go before election night, things are down to the wire between Orland Park's Mayor Keith Pacall and incumbent Sean Caston. If all of us want to surround ourselves by people who agree with us, then we are also choosing to surround us ourselves with people who are not going to teach us anything we don't already know. The pair are fighting it out in the 6th Congressional District race, which was flipped back in 2018 for the first time in about 50 years from Republican to Democrat. But with the boundary lines now redrawn, things could flip again. In recent days, high-profile support has been coming in for both candidates. Last week, Caston appearing at a forum on reproductive health alongside House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Tonight, Senator Dick Durbin joining him at a public town hall in Oak Brook. I made this trip because of a man I believe in, my colleague Sean Caston. I hope you feel the same way. And right down the Hyatt Lodge hallway in the same building, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy taking the podium, stumping for Pacall. Well, there's a lot of places I could be with four days before the election, but I'm here because this race matters. Issues dividing the duo are lengthy, including things like abortion and the Safety Act, with rising inflation a hot topic this evening. One month of your wages is 8.3% of your overall year salary. Inflation is 8.3%. So now you're left with 12 months of bills, but only 11 months of your wages to pay for it. I would love to actually have a conversation with Leader McCarthy about what his agenda is for the country. What is it that he's promising? Voters and volunteers on both sides of the aisle also weighing in. Everyone wants to feel like they're represented, right? And sometimes we don't. Eric Nelson and his wife Lisa have been out doing the rounds for the Republican side and tell us they've found support is high. We've been knocking on doors for him in districts where or in areas where you might expect it to be very, very blue. And we are happily finding that many people are saying, you've got my vote, you've got my vote. While Diane Rohde is doing her part for casting. What I like about Sean is that he's pro-business, he's practical, he thinks using data. And as a retired scientist, I do the same. Her fellow Democrats, Jerry Frieda, also adding the importance of making sure your vote is counted. But democracy really is on the ballot. When you've got um, a large percentage of the other party denying the results of the election and not even saying that they're going to accept the results.